guys? So I have a Zippo video. It's been a long time since I did a video on just the Zippo. I actually recently got this from a viewer as a gift. I thought it was really awesome. When I opened it on camera in that video, I just started cracking up because I thought it was very funny. It was an awesome Zippo design. It was brand new to me, never saw it before, so I decided to save that for this video. So I cut it out of that video, basically me, you know, my reaction with it. Uh, but I love it. And what's pretty cool is it sparked my interest in Zippos again, no pun intended there. Um, I have not looked at, you know, new Zippo designs in several years. And I spent about an hour and a half looking at new Zippos in the last couple of years. There's a ton of different designs. Now clearly, Zippo literally has thousands and thousands of different designs. They come out with a bunch every single year. But I'm actually pretty surprised to see kind of how open they are with different different things. I mean, they have a ton of uh, pro Second Amendment lighters, which are awesome. A lot that are, well, this one happens to be pro Second Amendment that's funny. But there's regular serious ones too, and there's other, you know, comical themes. Um, but more specifically, the pot leaf stuff. I saw a bunch of genuine Zippos that had pot leaves on it and pot leaf designs. Now, that shouldn't really be a big deal. Uh, you know, who cares? To me, uh, being like an old time Zippo collector, when I was really into it, there was one particular Zippo that I always wanted. It was very, very rare. I think it was back in the 70s, it was a slim Zippo. Someone came up with the design to put a pot leaf on there, but they put the pot leaf on there because they knew it was popular, but they didn't know what it was. They had no idea of the relation, uh, what it even meant or what it was. They thought it was just a leaf design. Hey, everyone's <laughs> using it everywhere. It was on t-shirts and hats and all kinds of stuff. And so like, oh, that's cool. This will sell, people like this design. As soon as they released the, the lighter, uh, some people were complaining about it because it had a drug reference. As soon as they found out that it was referring you know, to cannabis, they pulled it from the market. There was not a lot that actually got made. And it's extremely collectible. I don't know what its value would be or if anyone out there even has one still, maybe a serious Zippo collector or who knows, it's probably some random person that's in you know, a basement in a drawer or something. But uh, that was one Zippo I always wanted because I knew that Zippo was a company for many, many decades just did not get behind, let's say, um, you know, the use of marijuana. So they just didn't put those designs on the lighters. It was only until somewhat recently, I guess, they started doing that. Clearly, in America, there's a, you know, a few states that are green states and uh, smoking cannabis or smoking pot, uh, you know, just casually as a citizen, that's totally fine, you know. So it's a, it's a different age. Uh, not that I care, it's not offensive to me or anything like that, it's actually pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, so thank you again to the viewer for, for uh, making me more interested in Zippos again. May have some more in the future to show. But uh, anyway, let's get right to this one. Like I said, this one made me laugh. I love it. I absolutely love this thing. So no further ado, here it is. This one says, License to Carry Small Arms. And clearly there's a T-Rex on there. And as we all know, small arms. So I think that's really, really funny. Um, what's interesting is that uh, Zippo's website says that this is a laser engraved black matte Zippo. But if you look at the bottom, we can see more of a brass coloration. Um, and then of course the, the actual image is in brass. But when we open it, take the uh, safety sticker off, put that there for a moment. You can see that it's still brass on the inside. So it looks like maybe a thin brass case or some kind of a different alloy there. Um, and then they coated it in the, uh, the black matte finish and then, of course, etched it afterwards. So the coloration on there, it's not like, you know, it's add, the color's added, it's actually taken away and that's the actual case that's poking through as an image. So pretty interesting. But I don't know. I don't know if that's genuine brass or not. It did not say that it was brass on the website. And of course, usually the brass uh, Zippos have a brass insert as well to match. So a little confused on this one. But nonetheless, it is pretty cool. You can find these on uh, Amazon. They're like $18 and change. Of course, you can see the original Zippo price tag, $24.95. If you go to the website, that's the normal price tag. They do get some uh, you know, different deals on Zippo's website if you buy direct. It's always going to be the most expensive. But if you like you're on their email listing, you know, newsletters, you get that kind of stuff. Sometimes they'll do like, you know, some discounts that it, it makes sense to buy it from them as opposed to, you know, a different dealer. But uh, I thought that was awesome. Very cool. Uh, also, just kind of making this video just to say, hey, if you've been into Zippos, but you haven't looked lately, like I, the situation I was in, I haven't looked in years. And I'm blown away by all the different stuff. Some really, really awesome Zippo designs, some risque, you know, kind of stuff that you would never have seen. You know, in the 90s when I was buying Zippos in the early 2000s. Uh, it's just pretty cool. 
a lot of stuff out there. And that's what's so cool about a Zippo is it's a classic, lighter design. It's been in dozens and dozens of movies. It was an army issued lighter for a very long time. It's just, it's a piece of American history, you know? And what's, what's really awesome is that there, there's thousands and thousands of different designs. So you can get one that matches your personality perfectly. Whether you want to be funny or serious, make a political statement, you know, whatever you're, whatever you're supporting, there's probably a Zippo out there for it. Or if you just want one that looks cool, there's plenty of those too. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys have a new Zippo and you want to tell me about it, post it down in the comments. If you collect Zippos, post the comments how many you have. Uh, I know you guys are going to want to just see a Zippo collection update, maybe in the future, if I start getting into it again, which I might. This has kind of sparked the interest a little bit. Uh, I would say I probably have maybe maybe 30 or 40 Zippos or so. I, I know I have about 20 that all have like personal meaning to me, and there's a couple of collective ones that I have as well. Uh, but then I just have some random ones I got in trades, you know, a lot of users as well. So, who knows, maybe I'll, I'll do a collection update in the future. People ask all the time, you know, we want to see your gun collection, we want to see your knife collection, your Zippo collection. And there's a couple reasons why you haven't seen it. Number one, just showing everything I own, you know, on one video. Yeah, you, you want to see it, but I don't know if it's the best idea, like, moving things around. Plus, it's constantly changing anyway. But realistically, it's just not easy to get everything in one place for a video. But you never know. I know people want to see it, so I'm sure I'll cave in at some point and show you all these different collections just so you know what's going on lately. Because back in the day, I used to do it all the time. I used to do collection updates and, and show you the whole the whole bunch of it. I want to see all the knives on the table, all the guns out. Hey, what's, what's Jeff got? Well, I do have plenty of different things. I have guns. I actually have guns you guys have never even seen before because, you know, the, uh, the climate, let's say, on YouTube, I haven't done any gun videos in a long time. Hopefully that'll change in the future. But anyway... That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.